Day 8 of the Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Today we reflect on the angel who is by the left side of the icon, the Archangel Michael, the angel whose name begs a question, who is like God? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the icony of our mother of perpetual help, Jesus is portrayed as gazing at something at a distance that we have no clue what it is. The two angels on the sides of the icon present us with an answer. On the top left hand side of the icon is the Archangel Michael. He is presented carrying an N that contains a lance, a reed with a sponge. The two angels on the icon present us with the story of the Passion. They carry the instruments of Christ's Passion. They speak to us of the destiny of Christ that is envisioned. Christ is destined to suffer, to be crucified, and to die on the cross. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the icony of our mother of perpetual help falls in the same class with other icons that are called the icons of the Virgin of the Passion. And what tells us that the story that is depicted in the icon is the story of the Passion, is the presence of the two angels. The two angels somehow are presented in the icon, and yet in reality, they should be not seen. This is a clever way of icon writers, of telling us something that is invisible and bringing it before our eyes for contemplation. This speaks of the difference between icons and pictures. Photographs capture what is in front of the camera. Icons can afford without following the rules of cameras to capture the various dimensions that are to be pondered. In the icon of our mother of perpetual hell, a virgin who holds a child is looking outward and what she sees are the angels carrying the instruments of the passion. How do you depict that? That the two that are the major features of the icon are gazing at something that is in front of them. You put the angels at the top at a distance, bearing the instruments of the passion. They tell me there are two forms of passion. There is a passion that comes about as a result of suffering. And there is a passion that is a result of love. In the icon of our mother of perpetual help, the two dimensions of passion are brought together. Jesus suffers a lot. He suffers a lot because he loves us. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gaze at the icon of our mother of perpetual help, we are invited to ponder on our own sufferings, to carry our own sufferings to God who is loving, to present them through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that in bearing our pain, we may never lose sight of the one who loves us. And I think it's the love 
that accompanies the suffering, that helps us to bear the many trials that we encounter. 